What's up guys, welcome back to another MCOC Alliance War. This is the third war of season six. This time my alliance is taking on perfect synergy. So I am taking my normal path and brought in Stark Spidey for this one. I'm pretty sure I brought him in for the uh, mini boss. Um, believe I have a Domino as a mini boss, but she's not awakened. Uh, so yeah, up first. Uh, I wasn't sure who this was going to be. I uh, was trying to think of what all Mystic six stars were in the crystals. Uh, I actually forgot about Mordo. Um, not a difficult fight, but I do take a, a bit of chip damage uh, just because um, I let his furies build up. See right there, I should have gone in attack, but I didn't. I, I wasn't expecting him to throw that heavy attack. Uh, I think that's what it was. So. I was just prepared to back off and, and stay off uh, until his um, power game wore off. And that's not really good to do on this node just because he does power gain for a little while. And while he is power gaining, he's building up Fury. So let's see. I think he started off with one. Yeah, so he got about three Furies there while the uh, uh, while the power game was on. So like I said, it took a bit of chip damage there. So going into the next fight, um, it is an unawakened mutant. So it is a nightcrawler who I see here so many times on this bane node, and um, going to accidentally hit him here. So he dashed back. Uh, okay, didn't work there. So he, <laughs> I wasn't trying to hit him there. I was actually just trying to. Uh, Punch to see if he would stay back, but uh, yeah, he dashed in when I was about to tap block or er, punch. So luckily, I didn't get hit, but I did hit him. So I uh, had to start attacking, and he just would not stay back. He just kept attacking, and this happens. This happens uh, sometimes whenever I fight him. He just uh, he. Whenever he dashes back, he doesn't hold block. He just uh, immediately comes back in, or he might just dash back and, and hang back for a second. Uh, you see he did tap block there a couple of times, but it, it's, it wasn't uh, solid enough for me to uh, be confident enough to throw a, a light attack. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to let the Bane and the D-Gen uh, take him down, but I took a lot of damage in that fight. So... And the next fight, I'm going to have to heal up. You see, I throw uh, two health potions on right there. Um, and also, I boost up. And that is because I look at the profile, and I see that it's a Killmonger. So I know I'm going to be taking a lot of uh, damage back. Uh, but I also make uh, a couple of mistakes in this fight. Um, so, yeah, I lose more damage than I should have. Uh, just, you know... Um, I believe I, I got up. This was the first fight after waking up. So, yeah, just not thinking too clearly there. You see right there, I, I did the uh, dash back and throw the... When he throws does the medium, dash back, throw the light attack. And, um, yeah, nine times out of ten, you're, you're going to land that against him. I don't always do that in war, but I do always do that when I'm doing... Uh, quest and uh, arena just because if I do mess up because sometimes I do dash back too far so that was one of the mistakes I was talking about but he only hit me twice um, I parried once I parried I should have dashed in but I dashed back and uh, yeah once I dashed back I should have just stayed back but I decided to go back in so uh, yeah, like I said not thinking too clearly there um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this Nope, I'm going to go for an L2 here, so uh, sometimes I do back off just so that uh, once Fear the Void does activate, I can I can time it and, and have the um, L1 ready as soon as it activates. So uh, there again, once not really thinking before I dashed in to attack into his block, and yeah, he has the um, unstoppable charges, so when I attacked into his block, he did get that unstoppable and uh yeah he countered me there but wasn't too bad could have been much worse than what it was that you know after those couple of mistakes so yes up next we got domino but she's unawakened i do throw in the um 100 
50% uh, power boost for Stuck Spidey. Not sure if it's produced. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is 150%. Uh, um, so I started off. I was gonna try to build up poise charges, but as you see, it's it's not working. Um, so go ahead and, and attack. She gets lucky. So I'm like, all right, let me dash back, try to build up a poise charge there. Um, and yeah, it just it just wasn't working for me uh, very well so I, I do just uh, say forget it uh, try to let auto evade um, deal with the um, with the special attacks and see right there so I, I trick so I'm triggering dexterity sort of I'm not getting a buff but I am so there I finally got the buff and I got up to three. I think that's where I stopped. Like, okay, I'm backed up against the, the corner. I don't want to go too much further. Um, so, yeah, I just stopped trying to build up poise charges at this point and just start going in because I'm looking at the time. And um, if I don't start doing something, then, yeah, I'm just going to end up timing out. And so I was getting pretty worried at this point because... I'm looking, I'm close to uh, um, halfway through and I haven't done too much damage and I know that I won't be doing too much damage in my hits, won't be critting too much just because I haven't built up poise charges. So uh, yeah, there I wasn't expecting her to throw a heavy attack so yeah, it kind of caught me off guard. Um, but yeah, looking at the time, uh, okay, getting close to one minute, but I think I should be able to do this. Just continue to block um, all attacks, get parries in when I can. Uh, when she throws a special attack, just go ahead and block it. See, he didn't evade any of that, so didn't get any of the poise charges. Uh, so, I yeah, evaded that one, but no poise charge on it. Um, so yeah, go ahead, drop this L2. Uh, probably if I didn't have that power boost, even though it, it wasn't giving me too much power, it did give me a, a, a decent amount. Um, uh, probably sh I probably, I still should have been able to finish it off without the power boost, but it doesn't matter. Um, so up next we got a tech here, an unawakened tech on node 38, and this is definitely who I was expecting. Uh, this fight goes a lot better than the last war where um, I was just stuck doing heavy attacks for most of the fight. Like uh, after 30, maybe 45 seconds, the rest of the fight I just did heavy attacks uh, just because I, I couldn't do anything else. Um, but I am keeping his armor ups down. Do you see? I could have attacked into him after his double medium, but... Um, Sometimes I just don't want to chance it in, in war just because I have been parried after that in arena. So yeah, that's why I didn't attack him there. And now he's up to he was up to five armor up, so I had to wait and I want to drop another heavy attack here. So here we go. And I think probably the next one I go ahead and drop the L1. Let's see. So boom boom nope uh, so yeah was I would have but he started getting uh, armor ups from the um, from the attack so there we go I finally dropped the L1 and do a little bit more damage get another debuff on him and the good thing is he wasn't awakened so I was able to attack into him um, in those uh, last few percentage otherwise I would have had to back off and wait for him to come in and throw a heavy attack so come in and I was expecting to see um, uh, Mephisto on this note but when I saw that there were zero there was a zero there instead of a three then I was like oh man this is going to be Morningstar so that's why I healed up if it was if I would have saw a three and I knew that was going to be Mephisto then I wouldn't have healed up but I knew that I was going to be taking a bleed damage and you're also going to see a bigger number pop in there, and that is um, from uh, Deep Wounds. So this person does have Deep Wounds, so I'm taking a percentage of my, of my health. 
losing a percentage of my health each time I, I trigger a bleed on her until I have more uh, health than she does. But um, the bleed should be reducing a little bit. I can't remember what they started off as. Um, but yeah, with the debuffs on um, and the, uh, what's, what's it called? The weakness debuff on, then yeah, it, it's does go down a little bit but uh, not that much if I would have had uh, what's the synergy uh, the Captain America and Infinity War plus Hulk synergy then yeah I could have reduced that by a lot but uh, yeah I'd rather have the regeneration from using Killmonger so here we already lost the attack bonus. Um, I tried to go in a little bit sooner, but uh, teammate beat me in. And yeah, since we already lost the attack bonus, you know, and and she was already down to 35 percent, there was no point of boosting up and and healing up or anything like that. So I'll just go in, just fight it normal, uh, no pressure at this point, because we do have other people to uh, come in and finish her off if I do mess up. But uh, yeah, go in and just being very cautious of her uh, furies. Um, typically, I would like to drop a, a L1 during a heavy attack there, but you know, she had the fury, so didn't want to trigger auto block. I think I do trigger auto block in this fight. Uh, I'm not actually, I'm not 100% sure. It's either this fight or some other fight I was on. Uh, I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, she's up to uh her, her fears are about to wear off um would have liked to do a full combo there but yeah i had to wait for that fury the last second to to wear off um uh getting her down it's it's actually going a lot better than i expected it to a lot of times i, I end up getting cornered and um yeah, I end up taking a lot of block damage. Have to block that L1 or L2. Uh, but yeah, she was she was pretty generous throwing that that L1, so didn't even have to worry about the L2 in this fight. Uh, dropped my L1 there, and yeah, she I could at this point just like keep backing off and and let the Dgen um, do its work and yeah, just drop one more heavy attack for a good measure. So. Yeah, I didn't do too bad there. Uh, I have almost soloed uh, rank 5, but I've messed up down the stretch like with like less than 10% left. Uh, so yes, we do end up winning this war, uh, but uh, good job to the other alliance. Uh, perfect synergy. It was a good war. But yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.